This podcast is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Scott, I promise we will ask yeah. you baseball, but first, your thoughts on Musk's situation. Do you have a candidate that you maybe like of the ones that have been mentioned this morning? Well, I don't really have a candidate, but I'll tell you something that you hear and you repeat and over the years. Nobody, no, no coach or no player is bigger than the program. And if you remember that, you know, coaches come and go, and the University of Arkansas stands as the University of Arkansas. Some have more success than others. Uh, then you, you know, some just don't do well. But when you hit on that one, you keep bringing them in and, and try to make a good hire. And then when you hit on that one that you have a few magic years, you know, that's the way it should be. And then you'll move on from them. Nobody stays here forever except Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, it seems that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it, though? It does uh, seem that way. But, uh, you know, it's always interesting when these things come up because everybody's got a, a thought and an opinion. But I, I just think we have to readjust our calculus in this NIL transfer portal world on – how these coaching searches go because Scott, I think the the exactly. procedure and the boxes you have to check are much different now than they were five years ago. Yeah, it is, and it was. I was talking to a buddy the other day about how hard it would be to be a coach, you know, unless this is what you grew up with, you know. And and we don't have a generation of coaches that grew up with NIL and the transfer portal. This is still brand new. And so Musk was ahead of the curve in that because he was already doing it. Yeah. Uh, and I. And so that's, I think that's where that success came from. And now everybody's doing it and, and kids are out there and everybody thinks they're a one and done. And, uh, it's a whole different world. I, I think it's good in some aspects. Uh, I think you can fill some holes, but you still, I think you still have to go back to having a good core that they know that they're going to be there for three or four years yeah. uh, that you can work with. Hogs went over Ole Miss in the series opener last night, five to two Hagen Smith. I, I mean, it sounds ridiculous what I'm getting ready to say. Six innings, 11 strikeouts, gave up two runs on four hits, went 105 pitches. I want to ask you about that, but you could say this might be his roughest outing since the season opener, and it was still in a win, and it's still a pretty good line. Sure it is, and we're used to, we're getting used to excellence, and that's what happens. That's like Kentucky basketball. If, if they don't go to the Final Four, they don't win the national championship. Mm-hmm. It's a failed year. We're starting to see that in baseball where our expectations are so high any little blip, any little chink in the armor becomes somebody else. Fire the coach. Get rid of Hagen. He's a bum. You know, he, he had a little control problem, and that's what happens. He walked a couple of guys, hit a couple of I think he hit a guy. Uh, you're going to give up some hits, and uh, he escaped a big inning, gave up two runs that one inning. And no, they scratched out a couple of runs. And, you know, we didn't. We weren't exactly knocking the ball all, all over the yard. Uh, their guy was doing a good job shutting us down until he had some control problems, and that's when – things can the other team can capitalize and that's exactly what happened last night yeah so game two and 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 you're back into that thursday friday saturday rotation and i've had people ask me why are they playing so many thursday games well it's because they think you're really good you are really good so you get tv assignments way early when they put the schedule out tonight um you know you go through molina and then uh you know what are you expecting these next two days with the starting pitching and particularly tiger you know, I don't think anything has changed, uh, and it shouldn't change in everybody's expectations. You know, you kind of have a little uneasy feeling with Tiger just because he's had some control problems. Uh, but if Molina starts having some control problems, and he's subject to it once in a while, and every pitcher is, no pitcher is perfect all the time. It's just not going to happen. Maybe Satchel Page, but that kind of goes way back. Uh, it just... You know, the same thing. Uh, the, the, the one luxury we have is, one thing, we have a McIntyre. Nobody else has a McIntyre. Uh, and he can come in, he can patch a lot of holes. And so, just like he did last night, he came in, and that's a great, great, great combination. You know, Smith, McIntyre, and then if they have a righty coming up, you want to finish it, or a lefty coming up, who's going to finish her? And so, it's uh, we have those, we have the advantage of a deep bullpen, and it's gotten deeper with pitchers coming back, you know? And, and so, this is something that's unusual. Usually, you're you're changing your roster is losing pitchers. Uh, we have pitchers coming back. I mean, we're strong. Nobody's having to throw too many innings. Nobody's having to throw too many pitches, which that's what a good championship, that's a great combination for a championship team and a championship run. Your, your pitchers aren't aren't worn down near the end of the season. So I think the same thing. You know, you, you throw them out there, see how they do. Uh, Hitting-wise, you like to jump on somebody early, but when you're, th- when you're playing the SEC, all the starting pitchers are going to be good. Yeah. All of them are going to be good. 
So you just have to find them, catch them when they have that that bad inning. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code code believe that's b l e a v for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit bet online where the game starts